this problem involves quantifying matter and it's probably one of the more complex kinds of problems you're being asked to solve and in the situation we're being presented with uh, a compound has been completely broken apart and the elements that make up the compound have been identified and their proportions have been determined. So in this problem, we've got a compound that's made up of four elements, nitrogen, hydrogen, sulfur, and oxygen. They're present in the percentages 21.20% for nitrogen, 6.113% for hydrogen, 24.26% for sulfur, and 48.42% for oxygen. And we're asked to find the empirical formula. So remember, the empirical formula will give you what components are present and what is the basic ratio between those elements. Remember, in a formula, that the subscripts, the ratios, are based upon number of atoms. Well, atoms, remember, are directly related to moles. So if we could figure out the number of moles, we could get the ratio of them to each other and see if we could generate the formula. We could choose any amount of the substance, this compound. It's easiest if you just assume we've got 100 grams, since percentages are based on 100. Then if I take these percentages out of 100, those percentages become the number of grams of each of the elements. So, making that assumption, I've got 21.20 grams of nitrogen. And I want to get that to moles. And of course, if you're using your wheel diagram, you know to go from grams to moles, you divide by the molar mass. So I found I got 1.513 moles of nitrogen. I'm going to do the same thing for hydrogen. I've got 6.113 grams of hydrogen. Divide by its molar mass. And I find I've got over 6 moles, 6.052 moles of hydrogen. I'm going to do the same thing with sulfur. We've got 24.26 grams of sulfur. I'm going to divide by its molar mass. And I've got less than a mole. I've got 0.7565 moles of sulfur. One final element, oxygen. Out of this 100 grams, I assumed, I've got 48.42 grams. I'll divide by its molar mass. And, of course, I'm over 3 moles. I've got 3.026 moles of oxygen. So at least I've got moles. But they don't have very pretty numbers. And when you want to generate nicer numbers, whole numbers, you're going to try to do that by dividing by the smallest of these four values. And I look at the four, and obviously 0.7565 is the number I'm going to want to divide by. So I do that to all four of my components. I go ahead and do the division, and I'm hoping that these are going to come out to whole numbers. And when I do that, I get 2 for nitrogen, 8 for hydrogen, 1 for sulfur, and 4 for oxygen. Nice whole numbers that gives me the basic ratio of these elements to one another in this compound. So my final answer is N2H8SO4. That's the empirical formula. It may turn out to be also the molecular formula. We're not asked to perform that task. But at the very least, this is the basic ratio between those four components.